Hey guys, welcome to another video in the Free Sky series. And today I wanted to talk about this little guy. This is the IRX4 multi protocol module. And with it, it allows you to run other protocols besides Free Sky stuff. So, for example, if you have a bunch of uh, planes using um, Spectrum, like those E Flight Bind and Fly planes, you can run them on this radio. So, we're going to talk about setting this up and installing it. It's actually very, very simple. So, um, first thing you need to do, of course, is get one of these. This is the IRX4 uh, multi-protocol module, and it's the IRX4 Lite, which is the smaller form factor. And this is the size that will fit on the back of your X20, your X18, or your XE radio. So, we're going to go ahead and go through the process of setting it up now. All right, so um, the first thing we need to do, of course, is we got to go to the computer and download some software. Very, very simple. So, I'm going to go over here to my computer, and I'm going to go to um, Google Chrome and you can uh, I'll put the link in the, in the description but it's actually very simple I just go uh, to github and I just do a search for github ethos and first thing that pops up is um, here but any any of these is fine just click on it so this one's the releases so all you want to do is just go to the first page. So just go Ethos Feedback Community. And here you go on a first page. And what you want to do is go to the Lua folder. So this uh, folder page over here, go to Lua and go to Multi. Okay, and remember what that's called. It's called Multi over there because you need to label your folder exactly the same thing. And this main.lua file is what you want. Unfortunately, this is not the actual file you need to go ahead and copy it and put it into a notepad. So the easiest way that I see is just go over here and that's copy raw contents. You want the raw content. So copy that. And once you've copied that, you're done with this. Now all you need to do is just go to notepad and, um, and uh, um, just paste it. It's very simple. So what I do is I just do a search. It's already there on the recent because I just did this. But Notepad, do a search for Notepad. Whoops, didn't do it. There it is, Notepad, and click on that. Do a Control V for paste in that Notepad. And now you just need to save as. So File, Save As. And what I'll do at this point is I'll go ahead and um, anywhere in here, so it looks like I'm in documents, anywhere in here, I'll just create a new folder. New folder. The folder is going to be called multi. So the same as um, the words that were in the uh, other one. And that is important. It's got to be those exact words because that's how it knows what it is. So let's go ahead and click inside that folder. Open, there it is. And now this is where I wanna save it. So I'm still in that save as, um, but now I don't want a text file. Let's go all files over here. And I wanna make it main, same words as before. So let's stop clicking, there it goes. Main dot L U A main dot Lua and save it. And that's it. So now the only thing we have to do is put it in the radio. Pretty simple. So I got this hooked up to my USB port on my computer. Oh yeah. Uh, turn your radio off and you want to get into the bootloader mode by you, by holding this down the center of the jog wheel and tapping the power button. Now you're in bootloader mode. Come over here and I'll go ahead and hook up. And that is now hooked up to my computer. And you essentially want that file here. So it looks like it opened up my E drive. And there's two drives that it opens up. So the D and the E drive. And uh, depending on which radio you have, it might be labeled something um, else than flash or radio. But you essentially look for the file that has all this information in it, the uh, audio, bitmaps, firmware update, uh, that one's mine, so you won't have that, but logs, model scripts, and you want to look for the scripts file. And essentially all you need to do is put 
that file into that folder. So let's go back to documents over here, find multi, let's copy that, control copy. And then we can go into that drive, which is the E drive, go into scripts and control V in there. That's it. So that's it, you are done. So let's go ahead and uh, see if this works. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove, safely remove that, uh, um, my transmitter from the computer and eject. One more. Eject. It's two drives, the D and E drive, so I'm gonna do them both. There it goes, safe to remove. Okay, go ahead and disconnect. Power off. At this point, let's go ahead and hook up the uh, module. So this goes into the back and it slides in. So there it goes. And let's see if it worked. So let's go ahead and power on the radio. Okay. And this is my test, so it doesn't really matter on this one. I'll go to model, go to RF system, and not the internal module, so I'm going to minimize that. Okay, so then you want to go to the external module, make sure the state is on, and on type, if we see the words multi module, there it is. Now we've got it. So now, if you wanted... You can come over here and go through and do any of these protocols and they all will work with this radio. So we want to go over to, uh, let's go to Spectrum, for example, and see what the options are there. So when you do this, uh, um, this what I do recommend is using, for Spectrum, there's a bunch of different formats. There's DSM X, there's DSM 2. And within those, there's a couple of different options. So the best way to do it, my personal opinion, uh, let me just go to it first of all, Spectrum should be coming up. My personal opinion is when you do set it up, instead of going to protocol, this works most of the time, hit auto. If it doesn't work, you might have to go through it. Sometimes it doesn't work, but the auto will try to auto detect whether it's one of these, which one of these uh, Spectrum frequencies it is or Spectrum protocols it is. Um, but that's it. Um, very, very simple, works very well. Right now with this version of software, and I believe it's gonna be fixed in the future, the only thing that you don't have with the multi-protocol module is telemetry. So um, you don't have any telemetry information, but it does work, um, it does work, and I've been using it with my Spectrum planes just fine. Thank you guys, if you have any questions, please comment or send us an email and the email will be in the description if you do have any questions i do um, take suggestions and if it's something that i find interesting i will do a video on it so that's it please like subscribe um, and comment um, and let me know what you guys think take care guys and have a good one